Hi guys, welcome back to Cadaver Kitchen with Maria Cadaver. Today we're gonna make jerky, jerky, jerky. I like jerky, jerky, jerky. <laughs> uh, I love having jerky. It's a great way to preserve some meat and it's a great snack on the go. I even like putting it into my ramen. So let's make some jerky. Bang! Did you just fart? I farted. I'm a farting dog. Fart, fart, fart. I'm a farting dog. To make this jerky, I'm going to be using flank steak. Flank steak is a cut of beef that comes off the flank <laughs> of the cow. A uh, reason why I like to use flank steak is because it is extremely fibrous. And this means all the good marinade stuff gets in there and it makes a really great jerky. First thing I'm gonna do, sharp knife. <laughs> stabby, 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 is I'm gonna cut off this fat, all right? Uh, I like fat, you know, it makes meat really super tasty, but it also makes jerky go rancid. Fat is, is, is a big no-no when it comes to jerky. That's what you want, get rid of. My dogs will like this, though. Do you see a very interested doggy? Very interested doggies? <laughs> they think they're gonna get something, and they are. <laughs> This is what we look like after I trimmed off as much as I could. So this is looking pretty good, yes. Now here's the trick. I'm gonna stick this in the freezer for like an hour. Uh, just long enough to get a little bit solid, but not long enough to freeze all the way through. It is an excellent trick for cutting your meat. All right, into the freezer. Stay, Stay. who's good doggies? Who's good doggies? Yes. Um, num, 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 num. Oh, you're being so gentle. <laughs> Ooh. You guys are good doggies. Yeah, I love you guys. I love you guys. I've taken the meat out of the freezer. So it's still a little bit wobbly, but it's definitely a lot harder. This makes it so much easier to slice. All right, now we gotta decide which way we're going to cut this. So you'll see the grain, the fiber, right? If you cut against the grain, you'll end up with a more tender jerky, but much more crumbly. If you cut with the grain, you're gonna end up with a jerky stick that'll stay together a little bit chewier. I am gonna go um, with the grain. So we're just gonna slice up. Nice sharp knife. <laughs> <laughs> I like knives. <laughs> We're just going to slice. Nice thin slices so that we get... You want nice thin slices. Just about that thick. Not very thick at all. That way it'll dry up a lot better and absorb your marinade. I'm going to do an Asian inspired marinade but uh, it's up to you, you know, salt, pepper, paprika, chili powder, garlic, whatever. I'm gonna get a little fancier. I like the Asian inspired, it's a lot tastier and it goes really well into my ramen. And that look great, yes. Okay, let's make the marinade. I'm putting in, I've got cubes of minced garlic and minced ginger. I've got miso paste. I can never pronounce this. Go, 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 go. Spicy Korean fermented chili paste. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! Aha! Break, 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 break! And 
and some soy sauce. Okay, you actually don't want too wet of ingredients. The wetter it is, the harder it is to dehydrate it. Dry rubs are great. I'm using pastes. I like the miso. It adds an amazing umami flavor. Plus it is a little salted. Salted helps um, with pres food preservation. The fermented, again, uh, chili paste, great flavor. A little kick of spice. And a little bit of soy sauce, just a little bit. Um, again, uh, salt helps with food preservation, not to mention um, the uh, soy sauce again, adds some great flavor. I'm just going to give this a nice stir up. Oh, dude, that smells so good. <laughs> got my jerky in this uh, Tupper container and I'm gonna rub it in to every single piece and I really get it it deep down into those fibers it's gonna be fabulous nom, 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 nom. each one of these pieces I'm gonna get it make sure they're all coated Every piece has now been coated and marinated. These are still a little frozen, so I'm going to let them sit out and soak all that goodness up for about an hour so that I don't put them in the dehydrator frozen. Uh, it does kind of slightly affect the texture. I mean, it's not the end of the world, you know, but uh, we're just going to leave them be now. Yes. Soak up, my pretties. Yes. Yeah, fingers. Ah, dirty fingers. Okay. They're ready. Now, I'm going to use a dehydrator. There are ways of doing jerky in the oven. And... Uh, just look that up. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. We're just going to lay it out. Pretty simple, you guys. If you can't figure this part out, I'm really sorry for you. <coughs> Fang, cease thy barking. Fang, it's enough. Cease and desist. My trays on my dehydrator, about to turn it on. This part is hilarious. Fang absolutely hates the sound of the beeping from the dehydrator when I turn this on. So this is gonna be funny, you guys ready? Okay, here we go. We're gonna turn it on. Oh, she knows. All right, we're gonna go for 160. So let's turn the temperature. If you hear barking, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn it over to the timer now. <laughs> and I'm gonna do like nine hours. beeping of the hydrator <laughs> all right jerky's done ended up being about six hours we're gonna try it all ready right. drew cheers cheers <laughs> mm. oh yeah that's a really good flavor mm -hmm. a little spicy umami a little salty yeah i see uh garlic mm, garlic yeah garlic Ooh, and ginger ginger yeah, that's good. Oh, Drew's is gone. <laughs> it's so cute. Mm, no. <laughs> it's jerky. I'm going to eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As always, this is Marie Cadaver. 
Please subscribe. Love you, my pretties. Bye-bye.